Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool called Right Click Windows Magic. So this will allow you to add a bunch of extra options to your right click context menu in Windows. Alright, so once you download and extract the zip file, you'll have an install and uninstall command. So before you run this, make sure you create a system restore point, do a backup, all that good stuff, because, you know, these things could be dangerous. And of course, use at your own risk. Okay, so we just need to right click on install, run as administrator. All right, so this computer has already had this run on it, so it already has a folder, so I'm just going to recreate it as if we were starting from scratch here. Okay, so now you could install it for the current user, uh, decide for each user and for all users. I'm just going to do current user. Okay, so it found the current user Todd here, so we'll continue. Okay, so there's three sections here, add options, remove options, and miscellaneous. So we're going to go through each one of those. Okay, so we do want to add options to the context menu. Okay, so we're going to say yes here. I'm just going to say yes to everything just to kind of show you what it does, but obviously you want to kind of pick and choose. And if you don't know what it is, either skip it or look it up first. All right, RoboCopy directory. Let's just do multiple directories. Move directory using RoboCopy. Okay, we'll do the fast remove directory option. You want to add an open command prompt to the background folders and drives? I'll say yes. Do you want to open command shift right click? We'll say yes. PowerShell, yes. Control panel, yes. Copy to folder, yes. God mode, yes. Add symbolic links, yes. Sign off. Mirror option, move to folder, copy folder structure only, reboot to recovery, that's a nice one. So you could have one for this PC and also for the desktop, right click options. Run with priority, safe mode, yes. Safe mode desktop, yes. Take ownerships. All right, so that's part one. So now we're on part two, if you want to remove any existing items. So we'll say yes, just so you can see what you could do. But I'm gonna say no to all these because I don't wanna remove anything. All right, include in library, pin to quick access, pin to start, previous versions tab, and explorer, scan with Windows Defender, send to, share, add to Windows Media Player, so once again, you may not have the exact same options depending on what's on your computer already. Okay, so now we're on step three, the miscellaneous options. Let's see what we have here. Always open command as admin. We'll just say no to that. This PC shortcut to desktop, we don't need that. Increase the right click menu item limit. You might wanna do that if you have a lot of stuff. Let's do that. Let's go 64. All right, so finished. Press any key to continue. Okay, so now when we right click, you know, obviously Windows 11, show more options unless you hold down shift. And now you can see we have all these options here. Open control panel. Reboot to recovery if you want to do a recovery of your computer. Safe mode option, so this is nice. Sign out option. Uh, open in terminal, open command window here. So this should do it on the desktop. Like so. So I have two of them here, so there was one of these here before, so we added another. So you might want to check to see what's on your existing menu before you add a duplicate. God mode. Mirror destination directory. You can create your symbolic links. Move directories here. So let's do this. So move these directories. And then we could go move directories here. You don't have to approve it. Okay, so it actually moved it there. 
Not sure how handy that is because you could just move it manually. Open PowerShell window here, so I have a duplicate of that again. Uh, robo paste your directories, a structure, and so on. All right, let's see what other options we have for folders here. Take ownership, remove directory, and then the default options here. Like that. And then if you want to undo it, you could right click the uninstall command run as administrator so this will remove everything so when you install you could pick and choose what you want when you uninstall it removes everything all right so we're going to do it for current user again for the removal continue yes okay all right so now when we right click again you can see we just have our default options and we still have our single open in terminal and open in PowerShell because we had duplicates for those the first time. All right, so that's all there is to it. You know, it's not too difficult to use, but like I said, make sure you do your backup first before trying this. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download right click Windows Magic and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.